YouTube, YouTube, what's up? Been about 10 months now. I ain't shoot a vlog in about 10 months, as I just said. Excuse me. No, shit been busy. Accomplished a lot. Definitely acquired a lot, as you can see in my background. But it's been a blessing. <laughs> Integra just basically had too much rust for my liking, for my understanding. No matter what I do, I kept finding rust. And I didn't like it. Let me put y'all down here real quick. We are still here. Yeah. So, cool. But, yeah. The Integra, I didn't like it. It's rusty. Still here to this day. I'll show y'all how far I came with that. Not too much, but, yeah. So, Give y'all a rundown on this car right here. So, a couple months ago, I'm on Facebook. It's probably like 12 in the morning. I run up on this car. So I'm like, yo, what is this thing right here? Run into this car, message the seller. Me and him, we start chit-chatting, get into it. And I'm like, dude, you know what you're selling at the price that you're giving it at? And at this price, this price is 1,800 bucks. So I'm like, dude, for eight, you, you sure you want 1800 bucks? He's like, yeah, dude, I just wanted to go to somebody that's going to restore it, really take love with it. And I, he's like, yo, what do you do with the cars? I said, listen, some I part out, some I keep, but that there machine that you have, I am very interested in it. So he's like, cool. Send you over the rest of the pictures. We get to chit chat and we start talking. I say, yo, listen, dude, I'm very interested. I want this thing. Gotta put these funds together. I want this thing. Within the midst of that, this dude is 22 hours away from me. He's in Pampa, Texas, bro. 22 hours. Call my family members out there. I say, oh, listen, I need this car. Nobody wants to go and handle this for me. Nobody. So, listen, I called my boy Germs. Shout out to my boy, Germs. Call my boy, Ron. Had to talk to these dudes like, yo, what's going on? I'm even talking to my shorty, bro. Like, yo, should I do this? What should I do? Cool. Everybody's like, yo, you can't lose. Pull the plug, man. Fuck you out to lose. I pull the plug, send dude half of the bread on the car. I'm like, shit, I don't even know this guy. I sell him some bread. I sell this dude $900, 900 US dollars. I'm, I'm excited. Everything is just smooth. Days go down. I got to figure out how I'm going to get this car up here. Clock is ticking. Boom. Everything's just falling into place, bro. Acquired the car. Cleared the, cleared the balance. Found a transporter. That was like the worst stressful part of this whole situation. Finally got the car picked up. Took me about four days to get the car. I'm stressed. Transporter doing what the fuck you want to do with the car. I just want to see this thing already, man. I feel like, listen... Got the title in the mail, everything. Listen, I'm on ice. Man, the story's so long and interesting, man. I really, like, draw it out for you guys, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy. But I got to actually say shout-out to my man, Alec. He's out in Tampa, Texas. Very cool dude. Listen, man, I even had, listen, very honest dude, stand-up guy. I received the car. The car came. I'm happy. I'm about to show you guys exactly what I bought. Enough of this talking shit. Welcome back to the channel, though. You know, your boy Kirk's is in the building. Moment I've been waiting for, boys and girls. Boys and girls. All the way from Texas.
and I'll get right back to you. All right, guys. So, yo, look. Welcome back to the shop, as I told y'all. This is the Integra right here. This thing has become like a fucking storage unit. It's packed with parts. This is my boy's Butter EG. I got the bill for this thing. I still got some videos of when I assemble this thing. This thing is a full case swap, full interior car. Let me give y'all a rundown on this thing. Actually assembled this thing. This bay was horrible, but we getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. We about to make some changes to this thing. Some big fucking changes. Shout out to him for always supporting me and sending the car out here. But pretty much stock interior car. He bought the car as a shell from Ant East New York. We got it back together and it's working, man. Integra, you guys see it. All the parts here. We just we just storing. We storing parts, man. So cool. So now. Let's get down to this thing here that I got for you guys. So, boom. This is what I purchased from Texas. I started breaking it down already because I am just a nutcase. So, I started on the bay. But, yeah, let me give you the rundown. This thing came with a B20 block, GSR transmission, right? He also gave me a GSR head right here. We got the Type 1 valve cover. I want to say that might be a first gen skunk 2 GSR intake manifold, AM fuel rail, AM fuel pressure regulator, bone stock GSR head, or hardware. Look at that tab, not even uncut. Little goodies here and there. So that was part of the $1,800 deal. Then we get over here, got a turbo kit. That was part of the $1,800 deal. Don't mind the wag over and stuff in the back. Slow down, players. That's all me. <laughs> This was part of the $1,800 deal, the turbo kit right here. This transmission right here, this T-bracket. The car came with a blown motor, so I always had this LS here from the black bubble. I don't know if you guys remember that. That motor I bolted to this trans. I'm gonna take the VTEC head that we have on the table and we're gonna bolt that together now. So now let's get into the car. So I received quite some goodies with this car. So first shot, as we guys know, JDM EG6 rear long brake light wing. Then he gave me a JDM bronze tinted glass, right? This is real right bronze tint. You see the JDM sticker still there. This was a faded Mugen sticker. Then when you get inside of the car, this is what really threw me off. And I'm like, I want this. I never had JDM EG6 interior. So I ended up with the JDM EG6 interior with the gather speakers, all of the pockets, these Hasport mounts, it's intercooler. So everything is there complete in the car. I got a bunch of shit in there. So this was damaged from hail damage. The roof is shot. If you guys can see the little dimples in it. That has hail damage. So that's one thing. Pretty decent interior. Good 94. OEM panels, JDM climate control, I mean, JDM center console. We got a stock radio, got a JDM EG6 cluster, JDM EG6 steering wheel. Like, man, listen, the car came with goodies. Like, so much to list, it just goes on. The car has full skunk 2 suspension on it. Let's see if I can get you guys under there. Full exhaust, full scum to suspension, crappy view. I have to get my light out. But, dude, listen. I I am more than satisfied for what I paid for the car. Being that it has no rust, clean title. It needs some body work, definitely, yes. But, yo, listen, man. I got everything in hand to put this thing together. So, it's just been sitting in my garage, chilling. I've been working, trying to keep it together and get this thing going. So my plan is at least be able to drive this thing by April. So I'm gonna pick the pace up, do the bay, get the roof off and get busy. I'm gonna start using my camera more cause I've been slacking on this kind of stuff. But like, 
the car is so immaculate. <laughs> I gotta show y'all the bay. So check this out. Look at the frame reels. The car has never been hit. Very clean chassis. Like I started going down the bay, started stripping it out. I did a little, my first bondo job there. Let me know how I did. Let me know how I did right there. Removed the studs, did some bondo work. I did a little hole welding here. I got some more filler to do, come back over, but I'm using this as a big learning curve. And I'm really gonna take it to the max with this. Like I got hardware for the car, everything that's just been, been sitting. Whatever was gonna go on the Integra, being that the EG and DC is very compatible, I'm literally taking all of my parts off of the Integra and putting them on this EG. Now, my thing is, I don't know if I wanna go K all wheel drive, K front wheel drive, or just stay B-Series as the swap that came with the car. I don't want to cut the car. I don't know what I want to do. But listen, man. Your advice is needed. Tap in. Let me know what y'all would love to see during this build. Give me a shout out. Let me know. Leave it in the comment. K20 all-wheel drive. B-Series turbo. No J's. You can forget about that shit. K all motor. Nitrous. Let me know. Leave it in the comment. Tap back in. But we'll update y'all every day of the week. Every day of the week after work, I'm going to take an hour and get busy on this. And we're going to make this shit happen, yo. Happy New Year's. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for supporting your boy, Kirks. Let's go, man. This EG bubble is about to be ridiculous. This was a well, to me, $1,800 well spent. Very honest dude out in Texas. I still keep in contact with him to this day. Amazing guy. Hondas really bring people together. It's a biased community. A little shaky, but guess what? We make the best out of this shit. But yo, y'all stay safe. Be cool. Stay tuned to the next episode. I'm going to bring y'all some more heat. But new project is in effect. And we not, we not falling off on this one like I did with the Integra.